and continuing the segue to Ghostbusters, uh, Ghostbusters the video game. I gotta tell you this, not even just because I'm obviously an avid Ghostbusters fan, this was a, an a, incredible video game. Um, I think anybody who, around my age, who grew up watching Ghostbusters, I can't think of anybody that in our age bracket that at one point didn't want to be a Ghostbuster. Every every kid I grew up with, everybody wanted to be a Ghostbuster. You know, I still want to be a Ghostbuster. Yeah, even when I was in I was in college when this came out, yeah, and we still went back to the dorm and was trying to figure out how to do some of the stuff in the yeah. movie. Yeah, I mean, we were a bunch of scientists at the time. Yeah, <laughs> everybody wanted to be a Ghostbuster. I'm going to tell you what this this is pretty much as close as you're going to get to, <laughs> aside from going on eBay and spending a ridiculous amount of money on a uh, a reproduction of a proton pack. The game. First of all, the game was written by Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd. It was written, not just consulted, not just co-written. They wrote it. This is as close to the third movie as you will. Well, <laughs> well, we'll go on that more later. But this is as close to the third for movie for now that you will ever <laughs> get. The entire voice, uh, the entire cast lends their voice. Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis. Uh, Ernie Hudson, Annie Potts, um, uh, William A William Atherton is back as as Peck. Um, uh, I can't remember which brother it is, but they even got uh, Murray's brother to do the mayor again. Uh, it's it's just it's an amazing game. The gameplay is amazing. It's you you play a trainee. You are stepping in as the fifth Ghostbuster. You know, it's it's you uh, taking on that role. Right, you're right part of the yeah, you know, the movie. You, <laughs> yeah, you're part of it, and it's you ground up training. Because uh, because they dump you right out in the field, basically. Yeah, um, I can't speak for the Xbox 360 or the Wii version yet. Um, I do own a PlayStation 3, and I got to tell you, the graphics literally blew me away. That opening scene of the Paramount logo, I literally thought I put the Blu-ray in by accident. And then when... The, to see the... Uh, the, the I, I, I will say CG, not game graphics. CG, yeah, Ectomobile. He showed me the beginning. Of, I had the PS2 version. It's a little dummy down, but I still thought it was great too, even on the PS2. It levels up there to me with like almost a, real, a more realistic uh, Pixar quality right. of animation. I mean... I think I think they got the uh, people down better than Pixar movies do because they always look a little cartoony. But yeah. when you're looking at Winston Zeddemore, you see Winston Zeddemore. It's right. not just you know some guy with a mustache, you know that sounds like him. It looks like him, and they got all their facial mannerisms and and it's just it's a great game. Uh, just the little details, like and part of the game you get to free roam the firehouse. I mean, all of it, from the sub-sub-basement to the roof, and it's, I mean, it's like literally getting to live out every <laughs> kid's fantasy of, like, I'm in the firehouse. Look, there's the video games, there's the... Because you can slide down the pool. And you can slide down the <laughs> pool, which is one of the achievements, by the way. Um, yeah, there is so much in here for for fans of the, the original movie, cameos from... Um, Slimer. Slimer. Well, not even a camera. That's the most part of the game. <laughs> yeah, uh, Slimer. Um, Stay puffed, marsh. Uh, Stay puffed, marshmallow man. Uh, even the uh, the librarian uh, from the very beginning of the movie, who we learn is her name is well, they give her real name, but they call her the Gray Ghost. Okay. And uh, she makes a cameo. It's just in the whole museum setting. Oh yeah, they revisit so many locations. They revisit the uh, the uh, the library. Oh, oh, go ahead. No. The library. Right. Uh, they visit the library. Um, the hotel where they first capture Slimer. Yeah, and I mean, you're in the hotel. when You, you go right back to the banquet room. It's the same um, yeah. um, hotel, concierge, yeah. whatever. He's the same yeah. guy. Now, the game is set... Oh, I, I should I have mentioned this earlier. The game is set in 1991, which makes a lot of sense because of... You've seen, I love them to death, I really do, but if you've seen the guys today, it'd be kind of hard to believe them strapping on a proton pack and running their chubby butts around New York City. They sit in the 91, and it fits perfectly, you know, 
which is which, which is great because like when you go back to the the hotel, um, uh, hard, I can never say it right. Hard, uh, said, um, when you go back to the yeah, hotel, yeah. it looks just like it did in the video game or because the, they movie. walk in and it's just like the movie. You're yeah. walking in, concierge comes up. And it's such a little detail, like when they enter the elevator from the movie, it the no smoking sign behind them is the same font. They took that much time. But the biggest thing, the biggest qual the compliment about this game is the writing. Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis did a hell of a job. This game is is quite literally, it, it's entertaining. It's it's a, it's funny. You know, it's not just like some it's, action with a couple funny lines in there. I mean, it's... It's like you're part of that world. Yeah, it's... it's and, and it's not too much retreading of the movies. It's more... It's like a nod to, to fans. Yeah. And it's like... You know, they're not just slapping, hey, look, here's this because you liked so much. No, the way they work everything in is real fluid. It, it makes sense, you know, and it, it flows with the story, and it's, it's just an incredible. I, 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 I can't go on enough about how much I enjoy this game, and uh, for anybody who pre-ordered it from their local video, uh, game retailer, you got the t-shirt, too. Totally worth it. But, yeah, um... I, I dare say, you know, um, go out and buy this one. I really do. Uh, anybody who's played uh, PlayStation 3 games, and I'm sure it's the same on the Xbox 360, you get enough of the achievements and trophies to go after to keep the game fresh. You know, it's like, you know, you know there's going to be stuff you missed. You can go back and replay it. And just, I mean, for, for anybody who's watched the movie three or four times in one day, like some of us have, you're going to get the same effect from the video game. It, it doesn't get old. And the good thing, though, like I'm saying, you can even get it on PS2. And it's only yes, $19. It is, it is it's only on $19. PS2. Yes. I mean, it's cartoonish. It's more like the Wii. Yeah, that is the one difference. I haven't got to play it yet, but reading reviews, the, the Wii version is more cartoony. They, they wanted to keep it more family-friendly, which, not to say that this game isn't. This, I, I, this game is family-friendly. There's a few scary moments, and I think the worst I heard was pissed. Oh. The word pissed is about... As harsh as I heard, but they wanted the we wanted it more cartoony, more yeah Saturday morning, not real Ghostbusters, but cartoony. Yeah, flavor. well, that's even like on the PS2. Yeah, it's all cartoonish because it's not. I mean, it's it's real, but it's cartoon. It's because mm -hmm. you because the graphics aren't there. Yeah, they just don't have the power. But they, they know they don't have the power, so they didn't. They didn't try. They try to force it. They didn't try to force yeah. it. It's a better play, I think, because they didn't try to force it. You're going into it. Like cartoons, because like with the Star War, they kind of forced the group. Yeah. Compared the PS3 to the PS2, I'm yeah. not a PS2 fan. I've never gone to the next generation yet. I'm a little behind. Mm -hmm. I still play my Atari, but that's inside the point. Well, we all do. Yeah. I I should. I, I digress. But. Yeah. <laughs> but no, um, we for anybody who's who loves a movie, um, this is the game we've been waiting for. I mean, we, there was the, there was a Sega Genesis version. We all lived through the Nintendo, the original NES, which, in hindsight, I think we just liked it because it was Ghostbusters. But go back and play it now, <laughs> it was crap. Oh, it was crap. But um, th this is the game we've been waiting 25 years for, and uh, I, I can't go on enough about it. I love the game very much. And um, so, for anybody else who's out there. Uh, who has gotten to play the game? You know, drop us a line. Let us know what you thought about. So it's you know. definitely a buy. Oh, it's a, it's it's a buy. For me, it was a buy, and I can't. I'm stingy. I can't justify spending the kind of money that they charge for video games to go out and just buy one. You know, you know, rent it. Blah blah blah. But this one, if you like Ghostbusters enough that you actually picked up the game and looked interested, you're gonna like it enough to buy it. And, uh, sounds good. Sounds great. And uh, yeah, let us know what you thought about it. And uh, so, like I said, uh, it's it's just 25 years in the waiting for, for both of these. And I got to tell you, they say good things come to those who wait. We waited 25 years, and by God, it was worth the wait. So that's here from um, the firehouse, uh, Michael and uh, Egon. Thanks for watching.